Today, some of my friends are going to take you on a quiet stroll on the water. It's a great way to see wildlife up close without scaring them with the sound of a motor. I'm Larry Baldwin, Lower Noose River Keeper. That's what's coming up on your river report. If you really want to explore this river up close and personal, experience its natural beauty, see wildlife in its natural habitat, there's no better way to do that than in a kayak. These great boats will get you into places that very few people have seen before. Two of my friends from the Noose River Foundation are here today to show you how to experience that firsthand. Close. Joanne Summerday has a passion for protecting the Noose River and all of its tributaries. But she also loves to kayak with her six-year-old granddaughter, Elena. Elena was visiting from Montreal when we filmed this, and this was only her third time kayaking. Elena is six and a half. She was with me last year when she was five and a half, and she had trouble controlling the kayak. Not now. I had trouble keeping up with her today. She's wonderful. Um, we paddle. I was thinking about um, hiking good and um, having fun. I didn't teach her anything. Children just take to it naturally. About the youngest that they can be to handle a kayak is maybe six, depending on how dexterous they are. The Noose River Foundation partners with the New Bern Civitan Club to take community children out to experience the waters in this special way. Bill Ola has been a big part of that process. I started kayaking with the Noose River Foundation, and we started, I would guess, about six years ago. We partnered with the uh, uh, New Bern uh, Parks and Recreation to take a lot of disadvantaged children out on the water right here in Lawson Park. It's been a very good experience. I've enjoyed kayaking a lot, and I think it's very good for your, for your health. I really do. I also enjoy kayaking when I can get out from time to time. This is a great way to get a true scenic tour of the Noose River and its tributaries, undisturbed by the sound of a motor and far from civilization. Well, not so far and actually a lot closer to home than you might think. But only by kayaking or canoeing can you truly understand what I'm talking about. It's an entirely different world out here. It gets you out in the environment, you get to see nature. Uh, nature at its best actually because kayaking is quiet and you get to see a lot of things in nature that you normally would not see. If we see beavers, beaver dams, uh, beaver um, lodges, great blue heron, water otter, alligators, snakes, if you look for them. The only wildlife we got a glimpse of with the camera today was my 14-year-old sidekick, Cousteau. Cousteau is my constant companion, and he loves to get a swim while I'm keeping watch over the river. That's my buddy right there. He just loves to cool off in the water. He also likes to give the rest of us a bath when he comes out. Pretty easy. And poor Bill didn't realize that he was going to get a bath himself because my niece Taylor decided to come along for the ride and start a splashing session that was one experience he didn't expect. But he was able to get even. And that's the thing with the river. Like my sidekick and the rest of us, we enjoy all this river has to offer. We have some of the finest paddling in the world. We have the ocean, we have creeks, rivers, um, swamps, because when you get out on the river, particularly in some of the, the backwaters, it's absolutely beautiful. It's like being in Brazil with no sign of civilization. Noose River is a very long river, considering it's 200 miles long, and then some probably. But I think hundreds of people kayak on this river and really enjoy it. That's, that's why it's really so important to keep this water clean. Kayaks allow you to go up a lot of small waterways, a lot of tributaries. Well, the enjoyment, the enjoyment of being able to be out with fellow, fellow kayakers. Uh, it, it's a joint um, experience to go out and see new things, things you have not seen before. It's also good cardiovascular exercise. Kind of ho hopefully makes you live a little bit longer. Although kayaking is easy to learn and a lot of fun, there are some tips to staying safe. The most important thing is getting in without tipping over, and that's an art in itself. But um, it's just a matter of getting your paddle, holding it in the middle, and put one side in the, in the water and then the other side in the water. Kayaking on this river is a great recreational and educational experience for you and the whole family. But remember, be safe out there. Take the proper precautions. Have extra water, extra food if you're going to be out for a while. But always, you and your family, particularly the kids, wear your PFDs. When I kayak in a river, I always kayak upstream against the current because then you can turn around and take it easy coming back. 
beware of going downstream and then trying to come back up again. You can get very tired and it would be a struggle, a struggle coming back again. I always take along a lot of safety gear in, in the event that I'm out there longer than I anticipate. We've had people who got lost in creeks and had to stay overnight. So with that in mind, I always take a flashlight, extra food, extra water, safety gear, flares. So come on out and paddle, either by yourself or in a group, and experience this natural resource as you've never seen it before. But while you're out exploring, remember to do all you can to keep it safe for the next generation. The Neuse River is rated among the 10 worst rivers in the country uh, as far as being endangered goes, and I believe it's number seven. It, it, it's ev to everybody's interest to try to keep this waterway better than it is right now. We just hope that it'll be around for many years and the water quality will be good so people can enjoy it. But also for my granddaughter and, and the generations after her that come along. On your river, I'm Larry Baldwin, Lower Noose Riverkeeper.